at the car wash. What's going on everybody? Sarasota Tim. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I had to do my laundry this morning. I got up at 4 o'clock. I've been up. Uh, I went and got the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life at Wawa. Did all this stuff and didn't video any of it. Um, my eye looks like hell. Look. The doctor's got me on four drops and he told me it's going to make my eye red so I look like hell and I got up too early I'm going to probably go home and take a nap but I'm getting the truck washed uh, can't go up barbecue I mean it's nice out there now but the uh, weather yesterday I'm not kidding you biblical proportions of rain it was like a hurricane it was like tropical storm Debbie repeat I mean, even those areas in Sarasota that flooded from her, uh, Tropical Storm Debbie, they had to get flooded again. You would not believe the amount of uh, rain that came down yesterday. Look at that nice looking uh, Camry right there. Is that a Camry? That's pretty. I like those wheels on there. Pretty snappy. So after I got my, uh, so I got the wind tunnel going. After I picked up the uh, Accord yesterday at Honda Sarasota, it was all pretty and our, uh, tire dressing on there and all that. Got the windows tinted. <clears throat> I come home, I get basically near the house and the sky is just opened up like you wouldn't believe. I had to pull over and stay in a Aldi's uh, grocery store parking lot for about 45 minutes. I wasn't going to drive in it. The roads, when I did leave, were absolutely flooded. I got this little low car. Uh, I was having to cut through shopping centers to, um, you know, cut through to avoid some of the impassable flooding that was on the roads. I'm talking serious serious rain yesterday. There's Walmart. And um, I might have to go in there and grab a couple of things after I leave here. But let's get this uh, let's get this place all cleaned up and put some tire dressing on her and park her uh, and then get that Honda over here and get it cleaned up. So let me get out here and crush it. Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Walmart. But I've already been in and done all my shopping, but on the way out, I know I've been doing some car reviews lately. And man, when I, when I see a nice one, I got a video of it. And all those cars you've been looking at, including my own that I just bought, do not compare to what I'm about to show you. That's right, you're seeing a little bit of it right there. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I just talked to this nice gentleman here that said I could video his car, and you're not gonna believe what you're gonna see. This is something they don't make anymore, and this, I don't know why, this is the car. You ready? Take it. Okay, look. there it is in all of its glory in that beautiful radiant red or whatever red they might call it with the uh, gorgeous stripe. And it has Michelin tires, chrome alloy wheels. Look at this interior. This is a Lexus 460, a 2014 model with 80,000 miles and it looks like 8,000 miles. Look at these door sills. Uh, the gentleman was putting his stuff in his trunk there. I mean, it looks brand new. Check out that steering wheel. Look at this interior. He's got the self-closing doors too. Watch this. You just give it a little click. Watch. Did you see that? <laughs> There's a little delay there and then it does it. But it's a gorgeous, large car. This is the size car that you need to drive for a nice sedan because this is way bigger than uh, the, the last few that I was showing you guys. Look at that grill. This has got a nice big V8 motor in it. Uh, the gentleman's gonna open his hood for us, the bonnet. He also owns a nice boxer uh, Porsche. So uh, he's got some, oh my gosh, look at that. Look how they neatly put that together. Isn't that something? Man, I've never seen under the hood so clean. I wonder he wanted to show me. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? I sure haven't. So that stuff is easily removable for servicing, but isn't that very nice how they do that at Lexus? It's got these uh, LED lights, uh, fog lights, and uh, it's just perfect. I mean, 80,000 miles, folks, 
you know he keeps it in the garage. And what kind of tires we got? Michelin tires, and the size is uh, 18s. It's got 18s on there. Beautiful, shiny chrome uh, wheels on there. I love that chrome uh, rocker panel strip. I'd like to put that on my Toyota Tundra. That really pops. This reminds me of my red 4Runner I had. I put those chrome door handles on. It really breaks up the red and all the chrome around the windows. What a fit and finish. This is a beautiful car. It's the Lexus uh, LS 460. And they did make a 400, uh, but this is the, uh, the 460, 4.6 liter uh, V8 engine. And it's got the third light up in there in the back. But did you see that interior? What an amazing car. You have a nice little plant there. I don't want to open that door, but look at that. These are ventilated uh, seats, 10-way uh, power, both sides. You got that cool little shifter right here. Uh, all the technology and stuff, the Bose music system. This really is a nice car. I mean, if he'd sell it, but he wouldn't sell it, he's never going to sell it. He's had it 10 years. I said, man, it looks like it's a brand new car. But if they made cars this size again in the sedan, uh, we'd be talking. Look at it. He's posing it. The trunk poses by itself. Look at that. Well, I appreciate you letting me take a look at it. I know the community is going to like it. I'll give you my card. You can look at it online. And people are going to really be complimenting this. These are very rare. Uh, it's got the door edge guards. There's not a dent, a ding, a scratch, anything. Got the moonroof. Uh, the windows are not tinted, which is what I like. That's always a good tell that it's a, um, a mature person's car. Doesn't go for all that jazz. Got the factory tent on there. I love this car. This guy is definitely crushing it. Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. And hello to you uh, truck enthusiasts out there. Tired of looking at the cars. Well, here's a truck for you. That's a 2021 Toyota Tundra Limited Crew Max loaded with leather with the sunroof. And I just put some of that chemical guys tire dressing on. I bought some new tire dressing for my new car. And I got out here to the parking lot and I saw that Lexus that I, I videoed uh, that you just saw. And I got over to the truck and I said, let me just put some stuff on the tires. I just did a uh, River Club car wash right there. And no vehicle looks right when it's washed if the tires and windows aren't clean. So I went ahead and uh, used this stuff. I'll show you the product in just a minute, but uh, I went everywhere. I went everywhere you can imagine. Let me stay back a little bit so you can appreciate before I get in close. I did the front grill there around my tag. I did the running boards. I did around the mirrors, the trim, the black. I did around the black trim of the backflip on the uh, back of the tailgate. I did the running boards, everything over here, this mirror, and the front looks good. This stuff works pretty well. I was hoping that I could just spray it on and squeeze it and just kind of wipe it off my rims and let it dry. But this stuff, I actually fortunately have a bunch of washcloths in my truck because I just did my laundry and I really had to rub it off. It wasn't going to dry like the foam stuff or whatever this is a bottle i'll show it to you in a minute and uh, let me go ahead and zoom out and get on in here a little closer and show you guys so i did the uh the trim around the windows there and this is what the tires look like my new supermax brand new tires they only got a couple hundred miles on them and i did the mud flaps i also did you can see a little bit of the white stuff that hasn't dried yet uh, it's kind of a blue stuff, actually. Uh, the running boards and then the rear tire here and the rear mud guard. I did go over the, um, the, the step area here on the bumper. I went around on my uh, back flip here uh, and this rubber part right here. Kind of a half halfway job, uh, including the running board there could do a lot better. But I just got kind of crazy. But the tires are looking pretty good. And would I buy it again? No. $10, a lot of work. You know, I like the foam. You can just spray on and, you know, it dries pretty good and evenly. This is the Chemical Guys, the Kicker Tire Shine. And look how much I went through. It's right down to about halfway because uh, it requires quite a bit. And your finger gets tired too from squeezing the thing. The cans, you just, you know, they're aerosol. Uh, that's what I'll do next time. And they're only like five, six dollars. This was nine ninety-eight. But it does look good because it's got some kind of tire dressing on it, and it's a good-looking truck. 
It's not the best color in the world, but the magnetic gray can look very, very nice with the uh, chrome on it. What it really needs is around the lower rocker panel is a chrome strip uh, that's about five to six inches wide. It's a big one or a small one, but it needs a chrome strip that would really set this off. And also, if it had the chrome pipe running board uh, with the black rubber inserts to step on, but the pipe, the chrome pipe, but this is what it came with. So uh, a lot of black there, and I would prefer chrome down below a strip that might help it all together because uh, I'm not going to put running boards on because I'm not going to spend the money. But I will buy maybe uh, one of those chrome strips that stick on there. That'll look really, really nice because look, the Limited has this huge, bold chrome front grille and the chrome mirrors. So you got to, you know, bring the, uh, uh, what do you call, the chrome down and that's what it needs. And that would make it really nice. But uh, very happy with the truck, 60,000 miles, a little over uh, for this 21 Tundra, the last year they made the 5.7 V8. It is a beast. It is barely, barely broken in. And it's got a tonneau cover on the back and windows are tinted, it's got the sunroof and the JBL music system. There's nothing else in a higher trim level in 21 you could have gotten. Uh, than this right here. So I hope you enjoyed the walk around there. Hope you enjoyed that Lexus 460. That was a really nice car. Mr. Harry uh, let me video for him. And uh, he was a really nice gentleman. He beat cancer twice and uh, super nice person. And he's definitely crushing it. Me too. <laughs>